my name is Gabe Zalna. Just saw some incredible, exciting information on Western Center for Journalism. That's a site that you might want to stay tuned to because they always come up with very, very informative information. This one, I think, is incredibly exciting. And this is in regards to Orly Tates. Uh, if you're familiar with Orly, and if you're not familiar with Orly, she's an attorney out of San Diego. And she's had many, many cases brought before numerous courts throughout the United States, none of which have proven to be effective up until this point. According to what this little article states uh, on, on Western Center Journalism, it's not an article, it's a little video clip, but there's someone talking. Anyway, what the person said is that, and you can verify this by going to Orly Tates, that's T-A-I-T-Z-E-S-Q dot com. She apparently has a court date with the Supreme Court, and they're going to listen to her argument and the evidence that uh, she's prepared and has been able to provide. Uh, if you were to go to E-Verify and put in Obama's Social Security number, uh, it would come up that it doesn't belong to him. So Obama couldn't get a job at Baskin Robbins, let alone, you know, hang around the White House. And I think there's a real good chance if the Supreme Court does listen to uh, the information and, and, it, and if they review the evidence that she has, I think that uh, Obama might have a few issues to deal with. Now, the fact is he will be inaugurated supposedly on the 20th of uh, this month. And the hearing isn't until the 15th of February. But that shouldn't create too much of a problem because uh, in Nixon's case, he was again inaugurated and then shortly thereafter, he had to sort of leave because of Watergate. So the good news is that uh, this nightmare might in fact come to an end. <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you're excited. What she's asking for is on the 15th of February, if people can get up in front of the various Supreme Courts in the various states and show uh, solidarity. And uh, that might help. We have to do anything and everything that we can to remove this nightmare before he completely destroys the country. And I can't wait. I mean, this is exciting because if, if he's proven to be ineligible, guess what? He'll be removed out of the White House. Uh, Biden will not become vice president because he was selected by Obama. And anything that Obama did or signed will become mute. That would mean that um, Speaker Boehner would become president. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> wow, I'm excited. All right, tell your friends. Pass this video around. Let people know what's going on. Tune in to Western Center of Journalism. Do it, do it, do it. Let's go. I'm excited. How about you?